what up, Dodgers Nation? Happy Friday. Doug McCain here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. Matt Beatty talks about getting DFA'd by the Dodgers. Is the Dodgers and Padres a real rivalry? We're going to get into that in just a second, but quick reminder for all latest Dodgers news, rumors, breakdowns, interviews, and more, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. It really helps out the channel. And as always, on with your takes down below in the comments section, today's Dodgers Nation question of the day. Were the Dodgers right or wrong to DFA Matt Beatty? And do you think that the Dodgers and the Padres is a real rivalry? Let me know down below. And for all latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. So for the first time this season, the Dodgers taking on the Padres. Their first of 19 meetings starts tonight. And I asked you guys over on Twitter, is the Dodgers versus the Padres a real rivalry? And 21.9% of you said yes. Yes, and 78.1% of you said no. And that was with 6,374 votes and still five hours left. So some of you think it's a rivalry. Some of you think it's not. To me, it's the ultimate big brother, little brother rivalry until they take something from L.A., like a division championship or something like that, then I don't consider it a real rivalry. We all know that Petco Park has been the Dodgers beach house for quite some time now. But it doesn't mean that these games aren't a little more significant just because because of how intense it gets between the two fan bases, between these two teams, especially when Fernando Tatis Jr. is in the lineup. But he's out to start the season. He's been like a Hollywood stuntman in the offseason to start the year. So when he gets back and these two teams start competing, I think it will feel like a rivalry, but it shouldn't be mentioned as a real legitimate rivalry until the Padres take something that the Dodgers want, like a division title or World Series or something like that. Really, to me, the Dodgers have one rivalry that's the San Francisco Giants. And after that, to me, it's the Yankees and the Cardinals. To me, those are the Dodgers' secondary rivals. But today, we're going to talk about Matt Beatty. And Matt Beatty, he, of course, he was on the Dodgers for quite some time. And the Dodgers, they DFA'd him before the season began. And yesterday, he told the San Diego Tribune how that felt. He said, it sucks getting DFA'd whenever that happens. But I think the body of work the last three years, I expected teams would want to pick me up. I knew it wasn't the Yankees for me. It was a little frustrating, but it was also exciting for a new chapter coming. I knew there was going to be a better opportunity to get more bats and play a little bit more. And then he was asked about how weird it's going to be for him to play against his old team. And Beatty said, that will be weird coming up to the plate and Smitty's there. We golf a lot in the off season. I'm sure I'll joke with him to throw me some fastballs to lighten the mood. But when you're between the lines, you're kind of enemies. So Matt Beatty, he's now wearing the gold and Brown. He went from wearing the beautiful Dodger blue uniforms to wearing the UPS colors. And I don't know if you saw this, but a few days ago, the Padres announced a new partnership with Motorola, where Motorola, they're going to be their ad patch sponsor. And you're going to see a Motorola logo on the Padres sleeves starting next season. And I was saying, hey, that was a huge missed opportunity for UPS. But then again, UPS does deliver unlike the Padres most sure. seasons. But no, when it comes to Matt Bay and the Padres this year, he has gotten off to a slow start. He's won for his first 14 with five strikeouts. And if you're the Dodgers, you've seen how well Edwin Rios has looked early on. He's hit for power. He's been able to play the infield. He can give you some positional versatility. He can give you that thump from the left side. And I don't really don't think the Dodgers are going to miss Matt Beatty when you consider the role that he had for this team. And if you look at last season, he slashed 270, 363, 402, had seven home runs, four doubles, a triple and a 114 WRC plus his 75 games played in the reserve role were the most on the team he had 44 starts he started in left field right field and first base and designated hitter and after the Dodgers were hit by the injury bug last season Beatty did get some more opportunities and he proved that he could be an above average bat against right-handed pitching that's exactly what he is but the issues with Matt Beatty are one he doesn't slug doesn't hit for very much power a below average slug and also he's a below average defender you know the Dodgers they value that they put a premium on not just positional versatility but your ability to play defense at an above average level and if you look at Matt Beatty he definitely struggles in that department look Matt Beatty was asked what's his favorite position defensively and his response the batter's box so we know the hitman he wants to hit and Dave Roberts also said last season that they don't see him as much a defender but as a guy that can give you a great at bat 
versus Sorority. And when it comes to him being just a hitter, the numbers kind of bore out the fact that he hasn't had very much success as a pinch hitter and as a DH. His career as a DH, nine games, 26 plate appearances. He has a 192 OPS, two for 26. As a pinch hitter, he has a 595 OPS, 17 for 83, and he doesn't hit for very much power. So I think when it comes to the Dodgers and Matt Beatty, you can see why LA moved on because one, they didn't like his defense. We know that Dave Roberts kind of seemed to have it out for him when it came to his defense. And then also in positions where he can come in off the bench cold and get a hit, that's not when he's at its best. So I think Matt Beatty still has a chance to be a solid big league hitter if he's given more opportunities. But I'm totally okay with the fact that the Dodgers, they DFA'd him because you look at Edwin Rios and what he's able to provide and other guys up and down this lineup and on this team. So, so for Matt Beatty to carve out a role in the show, he needs to find a way to have more success as a pinch hitter and as a DH and to find a way to at least get somewhat respectable as a defender and maybe try to hit for some more power. But the guy can get his bat on the ball. He can make hard contact. He can put it in play. He can get your base hits. And there's definitely still a premium for that in Major League Baseball. So I wish Matt Beatty nothing but the best with the San Diego Padres as long as it's not against the Los Angeles Dodgers. But let me know down below in the comment section. Do you think the Dodgers were right to DFA Matt Beatty? Do you think they'll miss Matt Beatty? Do you think he'll carve out a role in Major League Baseball? Do you think he'll have success with the Padres? Let me know down below. And also, do you think the Padres and the Dodgers is a real rivalry? Do you consider the Padres a rival of the Dodgers? Let me know down below in the comment section. My name is Doug McCain. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. For our latest Dodgers news, rumors, hype videos, podcasts, interviews, breakdowns, and more, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you're going to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. For our latest Dodgers Nation merch, head over to gearup.la, download the new Dodgers Nation app, and until next time, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out.